Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Nort, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be doing a Q&A in regards to the latest DLC announcement which Rockstar Games just released. Loads of you guys have been requesting it because some of the details on the newswire were kind of cryptically written, so they would sound like one thing when really it means another. Basically, loads of you guys got a bit confused about what to expect and when to expect it, so I decided to do a Q&A and answer all of you guys' questions because this is a pretty big DLC. If you want to know what I'm talking about, there's an article in the description below on the Rockstar Games Newswire. Rockstar Games just announced two huge major DLCs as well as some updates which will be happening in the process of those DLCs. Like I said, go and check out the article, you can read it alongside this video, but I assure you guys I will fill you in on the information as we go along. So to start things off, Rockstar Games have once again announced another kick-ass DLC and it's about time. We haven't seen a DLC in GTA Online for quite a while now and I know loads of you guys are getting restless and also taking a look at the stats on PC, GTA Online is currently at its all-time low with its lowest peak of players playing GTA 5. So this is probably an announcement which is definitely going to increase those ratings. Anyway, let's get into the questions about this update. And as I said earlier, this is two DLCs. Now, some of you guys may have been confused in previous videos and also just reading the article, and it's pretty easy to get confused by this. What Rockstar Games have done is announced two DLCs in the same Newswire post, which led many people to believe that both of these updates are going to be released at the exact same time. This is incorrect. Rockstar Games released two DLCs, one of which is going to be called Stealing and Dealing, which is the successor of the Executives and Other Criminals update, and the other one is going to be called Cunning Stunts, which will basically allow you to have a whole new array of stunt props and also allow you to play stunt races and also do loads of other crazy, amazing imagination-inspired things around online. So jumping into the first topic, we're going to take a look at the release date of these two DLCs. You guys have been asking me what I believe about the release date and when I think these DLCs are going to be released. So I'm going to get into the information I have here. And Rockstar Games did mention in very small writing at the top of the Newswire post that we can expect some feature-rich updates to GTA Online in the next weeks and months ahead. So the only thing I gathered from that is that we can expect one DLC in the next few weeks and another DLC in the next few months. So unfortunately, I do not know which DLC to expect, but I do have a little bit of information from leakers around the GTA community. So if you guys haven't been following my YouTube channel lately, then you may not know some of the information I have been discussing about, in which leakers have come up with a date for May the 17th that something big is going to be happening. They have been circulating this date for a few weeks now, saying that this is going to be the day Rockstar Games release a DLC. They have found out this information because Rockstar Games have been privately testing DLC content for the past few days or so. They actually updated the private servers, which shows they were testing testing stuff out today, just before they released this Newswire article. So judging from this information from the Rockstar Games private servers, and also the information leakers have given me, it looks like May the 17th is going to be the first date in which we can expect one of these DLCs. Rockstar Games also told us in a live stream just a few days ago that the next stream will be May the 20th. It appears that Rockstar Games said this as a slip of the tongue, as when someone questioned what would happen on May the 20th they blanked out and said a joke. So it looks like this is going to be the next DLC stream as they could not physically explain what this stream would entail and it looks like they regretted saying May the 20th would be the next live stream. So judging from what leakers have told me and also judging from what Rockstar Games have hinted and stuff they have tested, May the 17th could be the first date we see one of these DLCs which lines up perfectly considering we haven't seen a DLC for a very long time and also taking a look at the community ratings, Rockstar Games is currently at an all-time low with GTA 5, with the fewest PC players playing GTA Online right now. You can check out the graph on the Steam database, the link to that will be in the description below. And as for the next DLC, it looks like we can see that one coming late or mid-summer. Just taking a look at the lineup, it does mention how it's going to be the next few months. 
So we could expect that one to be released around July, August area. Somewhere around there would be the dates of that next DLC. I'm not too sure which DLC will come first and second. You guys can guess down in the comments section below. Which DLC would you want to be added to GCA Online first? And which one would you want to be added second? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Also, if you guys are wondering what will be happening between those dates, are we going to be seeing any festive updates? We might do, but Rockstar Games did also mention how we're going to be seeing more bonus weeks and adversary modes being introduced to GTA 5. This means that when we're not going to be getting any DLC, we can still expect bonus weeks and new adversary modes. So what we've been seeing over the past few weeks, we're still going to have that being added to online. It's just going to be added in the process of these DLCs. So if you guys are annoyed with that I completely understand but Rockstar Games are just being straight with us on what we can expect but they did mention that each bonus week and each adversary mode would be a great way to farm money especially that we're going to be seeing double money and RP in pretty much every single bonus week so that's something to look forward to especially if you want to start farming some money for these DLCs. Anyway, let's get into some questions you guys have been asking me. I've actually written all this down on a piece of paper as well. I'm not too sure if you can hear me uh, just waving this paper around. But I actually did a Q&A on Twitter and I have a few questions from you guys. One question was asking me whether the mansions or the properties where the headquarters, the organization will be based, as well as the warehouse, whether they will be homes and where they will be situated. So personally, I think these headquarters and mansions will, of course, be homes as well. Rockstar Games did consider them as properties which we can purchase. In addition, I believe these are going to be added around the same area we have stilt houses, but at the same time I can imagine these being added in the urban areas of the city as well. So somewhere kind of hidden away, maybe around the east side of Los Santos, I think that would be a great way to see these headquarters and mansions. But judging from an image Rockstar Games posted out, it looks like these mansions and properties are still going to be fairly luxurious. So they could be around the stilt house area. So I reckon we could be seeing them around the north or the east side of Los Santos. That is just my opinion, but they could be anywhere around the city. So this next question came in from loads of you guys on Twitter, on YouTube. Loads of you guys were asking me this, and this is whether we'll see new vehicles being added to GTA 5 with these DLCs. I can confirm we will be seeing new vehicles, in the stunt DLC, Rockstar Games did mention how we'll have stunt-ready vehicles and gear, giving the impression that we'll have brand new vehicles with the stunting DLC, which I can imagine perfectly. But Rockstar Games described both updates as content feature rich. So this means that the update is going to contain a lot more features than we can expect and I would be very surprised if there were no new vehicles. In addition, leakers around the community were telling us how there's new weapons being added to online. So it looks like we're going to see new weapons and new vehicles. Probably the weapons we're going to be seeing heavy sided to the stealing and dealing update and maybe a few new vehicles with that update as well. But it looks like we're going to be seeing vehicles heavy sided with the stunting DLC. So that is my opinion and that's just from the information I have been given. And another common question I got was regarding a stunting arena which was leaked quite a while ago. Now if you guys didn't remember, stunt races are on the social club. You can go on the social club now and search up races and there will be a category for stunt races. This has been on the social club for over a year, maybe even two years now, and no one knew why. We all knew there was going to be a stunting DLC but after so long, we kind of gave up on the fact there would be a stunting DLC because this feature has been added on the social club for so long and we haven't seen a DLC for it until today. Well, it looks like that the same thing will occur with the stunting arena. This was an arena which was leaked a long, long time ago when the stunt races were added to the social club. And by the looks of things, judging from the arena and this DLC, I would be very surprised if we don't see this arena added to the DLC. But then again, at the same time, I'm pretty 50-50 split between whether we'll see it added or not. But, like I said, I can totally imagine this arena being added in the stunting DLC. Because both DLCs are going to contain loads more content. And I think it would be a waste if Rockstar Games didn't include it. Considering we've seen stuff like that in previous GTA games anyway. 
And next up, it looks like a lot of you guys are asking about the casino and other features around online, and whether we'll actually see them being opened up. And I think we will, and this is my reason behind it. Now, one of you guys worded this question perfectly on Twitter, and that is that whether this DLC, the Stealing and Dealing DLC, is really a DLC we want and need. And no matter how kick-ass this DLC is, this guy was discussing about other things which we've always wanted, like the casino and other things which have yet to be opened up. Personally, I think we will see the casino, but we have to wait our time. And the reason behind this is because this DLC was the successor to the Executives and Other Criminals DLC. The Executives and Other Criminals DLC gave us VIP organizations, it gave us yachts, it gave us houses, it gave us so many amazing things which opened up a whole new section to GTA Online, and it was a very big DLC. Now this next DLC, the Stealing and Dealing DLC, is the successor to it. It's the next episode to that DLC. And this DLC, the Executives and Other Criminals, the entire idea of this DLC, multi-DLC, being added to online, was an idea of Leslie Benzies, who was the main man behind the story mode and the creation and the development of GTA V. He was the main brain behind it. He made all of these things years in advance, so I would be very surprised if there wasn't going to be another DLC adding onto the Stealing and Dealing DLC as another successor like the next episode, which would contain stuff like the casino, betting, and so many other things where we can spend our money. Because this is a luxurious DLC after all. Judging from the start, we got yachts, VIP organizations, ways to make loads of money. And then afterwards, we have ways to make even more money, and ways to spend even more money. We get mansions, we get so many other things. And next up, in my opinion, I think we'll see stuff like casinos or something along that line. So I think Rockstar Games haven't given up on the casino, I think we will still see it. But in my opinion, I can kind of tell where the direction of online is going, judging from these two DLCs, in the fact that the next huge DLC will most likely be a successor onto this DLC. That's just my opinion, judging from what I've seen so far, and if that is the case, then I can perfectly imagine the casino coming in that next DLC. Which is something we have all wanted for years, and I can totally imagine this coming sometime soon in online with another DLC successing to these two DLCs, the Stealing and Dealing and the Executives and Other Criminals update. But alongside this, I think if Rockstar Games were to introduce the casino a lot sooner, then it would kind of ruin the hype for online. I think they play on the fact that there's still things in the game which we know are going to be added, such as the casino, hence why there's a huge Coming Soon banner on the front of it. And I think if Rockstar Games were to introduce it a lot sooner, then there would be very little hype in the game on the things to expect. So I think they're keeping it closed as long as they possibly can, but judging from the way online is going and the DLCs I have seen, I can totally imagine the casino being added in as another successor to these two DLCs. Let me know your thoughts about that down in the comments section below. Would you like to see another DLC as a successor to both of these DLCs, including the casino or not? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Anyway guys, that is all I got time for today. I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who did submit their questions. I hope you found this video helpful. If you didn't, feel free to let me know your questions down in the comments and I'll make sure to reply to as many of them as possible. And if you are looking forward to this DLC, show your hype by smacking the like button with your left elbow this time. If we could reach that goal of 1000 likes, then that'll be absolutely crazy. But once again guys, thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, make sure you do click that subscribe button so you'll be updated with more information about this in the future, as well as DLC content the moment it's released. Anyway guys, thank you for watching, my name is Nort, and I will see you guys in the next video.